best starter to ever exist, and you can't you can't tell me otherwise. The only issue is he is the only starter that doesn't get a dual type upon evolving. He stays grass throughout his entire evolution chain, unless you count Mega Evolution, which hadn't been implemented at this point. So yeah, this is a so, giant world, and holy shit. <laughs> I remember the thing the... about Go ahead. The thing about my rivals Pokemon is obviously because I chose Trico, they chose Torchic. Torchic is a fire type, and upon evolving, it becomes fire and fighting. And that's a scary combination. It's an angry chicken that kicks fire at you. <laughs> so it, it, no, no, no. It, you know what it is? It's Liu Kang as a Pokemon. It's it, it's it's fucking Juggles D and D character. Oh, oh, oh shit! For a second, I thought it was gonna fall off the ledge. So yeah, this is the giant world. And sorry, change the sorry for change the subject. This was actually like one of the most interesting levels. Like I remember. Um, oh, I remember this. one. Yeah, no, I remember first entering this uh, world when um, I was introduced to you know the flute that takes you around places. Like my brother and I didn't really bother going through like different worlds in the chronological order. And when I, I like first how the piranha plant is the same size. Yeah, and uh, like I was like it was both hilarious and scary at the same time because the giant shells they move at a really fast pace. Like well they move at the same pace as like other shells do, but because it's bigger, it's you know, you had this implication that it's moving faster. Hmm. So it's it's just so now they have like these wide variety of levels that were from like the three previous worlds and everything is just ginormous for the sake of being ginormous. Oh shit. My favorite worlds um, are a tie between this and World 5, which I actually do have a bit of a history on that one whenever I get around to working on that. I don't think I'll be able to reach that because um, I shouldn't be, like, I'm trying not to stream as, like, longer than used to. So this will probably be the episode for today before I, like, stream once again. Oh cool, I got a three stars. Yay! Five up. You know what you should do after this one? What? Castle Crashers. We could do, like, a Castle Crashers, like, offline ad from, like, done streaming. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I feel like <laughs> Castle Crashers would be a lot of fun to stream, though. Oh, hell yeah. No, that's that's an idea that I'm thinking about. That should that should probably be a goal. Yeah, no, that's, um, that's something I really had to think about because, um, like, I, like, I... I'm to, like I'm considering like having a few other like viewers who are fans of um well viewers who enjoy watching my uh, streams like want to join in on the fun. The problem is is that there's so many to choose from. I'm mean, going through a single campaign. I can only go through like four players, so that's going to be a bit challenging. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. The most that I would do is, like, go for, like, one fan or two who I could, like, just have with. And it's going to be really hard because I know that there's going to be people who will be upset feeling left out. God damn it. I ran right into him. Why? It's funny because you died at a completely different part, but on my screen you said, God damn it, right as you dove into a pit. <laughs> <laughs> um. And now I saw you just dive right into him. <laughs> You just left at him like, it's like you left him like, take me. My body is ready. God damn it, Solar. <laughs> I am ready for Freddy. Oh, God. It's weird that you have a color scheme of like this, like, black and orange red. Which, like, to an extent, it would definitely hurt your eyes. Like, it's supposed to indicate that you're in, like inside some kind of cave. I'm having these weird impressions of, like, going in those dark rooms and they have, like, tiny lights shared back and forth. Like, it's some kind of, like, theater or something. It's weird. I don't know. For me, it kind of gives the impression that I'm inside an anthill. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. Hey, guys, do you know what it looks like to me? What? An the area with an vagina. orange color palette. I didn't, I, I didn't catch that. What? An area with an orange color palette. God damn I walked into that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. Through a pipe, specifically. <laughs> uh, Anti-jokes are the best if you can do them right. <laughs> Gotta love wholesome memes. 
Uh, although some memes need to die like really quickly. And there are just For some example. memes that do. Okay, a meme that deserves to die is the 9,000 joke. Yeah. I'm so tired of that joke. There is one meme that I still love uh, having around the steamed hams. Oh, boy. Why is there smoke coming out of your chip um, uh, oven, Seymour? Oh, that's uh, that's the steamed clams we're having. Mmm, steamed clams. Steamed clams. Wait, it died already? I thought it would be longer than that. Jesus, it was a lot more short-lived than I've ever thought. Okay. Um. Oh I wanted wow, to that is the worst possible timing. I oh wanted, my god. I wanted to say phrasing so bad. <laughs> it's out already. <laughs> <laughs> I expected it to last longer. <laughs> it just reminds me of this one Pokemon meme I said, or I saw when we're fucking. Shit. Yeah, it basically just said when your girlfriend says to go deeper, and then it goes, it cuts to a fucking Pokemon screen, and it says there is no. You have no TP left. left. <laughs> There's no PP left for this move. <laughs> Pokemon, you're killing me. <laughs> It's shit, it's shit like this that makes me wish I was like more confident and more bold. That way I could do more like, like more art like that because that's that kind of stuff is just funny and I love doing it. It's like once, it's like back when I had, well, they're still my friends, kind of. We don't talk a lot, but they're still my friends. Fuck! Ah, uh, lock it to you, piece of shit. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Lakitu you, and his irritating he camera angle. You away, <laughs> you asshole! Ugh, Lakitu's a bigger pain in the ass in these 2D games. At least with the 3D ones, I could just like—he's a fucking joke in that. Like, I could just like run past him. But here, he's everywhere. I'm gonna be honest with you. When it was Super Mario 64, and I there had to deal with his god awful camera angles half the time, I'd much rather be killing him here. To be honest. You'd much rather be killing him here in Super Mario 3 or 64? Like, any is like... In, okay, in Super Mario 64, the camera angles irritate me. And of course, it's Lakitu with the fucking camera. So, the expression is, you know, I'd rather be killing him in this game rather than having <sighs> him, like, record my entire adventure in that game. You should have stayed dead in Super Mario 3. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Cool. He's like, I will hack this game, get myself a gun, and shoot you right through that camera and your face. <laughs> I don't like you, Lakitu. Nobody does. Nobody. Yeah, um, yeah. No one. All right, one more of these things. God damn, I'm already close to finishing this world. The world three was a really big one. You know what, I might as well just use up the last of these music boxes because I have no need for them. Whoa, Jesus! I got crushed by a giant fucking Koopa Troopa. Great job, Brett. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, I saw that. Ah. <laughs> uh, you can thank the delay for... Trying to guess what it is and waiting patiently for finding the final result. Oh, damn it. I jumped really badly. Fuck. Whoa, I Jesus. Hear, I hear it in the back of my mind. I was like, yes. Oh, fuck. And I remember these good. bullet bills. They follow you. They like, they track. Oh, just, yeah. Just like all the bullet bills in 3D. I didn't know about that. I don't. Oh, I thought you meant. I thought you meant the red ones, these just these just flashing ones. Yeah, yeah, no, the flashing ones they follow you. It's like, ah, oh, you fucking cockbags. Damn it, I missed my chance on that one. Well, I got my chance here, so. Well yeah, in a lot of the 3D Mario games, the bullet bills will actually track you. So those are those are fun to deal with. Oh! I did it again! I jumped badly at a time when the frickin' piranha plant was showing up. Ugh, whatever. You know, there is the one little advantage that I will give to these homing ones. It gives me the chance to stomp on them, so that way I can bounce them over the pits. Oh, poorly timed. God damn it. Something tell is like, 
something tells me I get to pull the guess how well he does it, that meme. There we go. Oh, I got a, uh, another one of those P things. You know, part of me wants to use one of those just to fly across an entire stage. I've done that several times. There's no shame. You know, you get to, you like, you do that a lot more often in Mario World with the, the freaking cape. I mean, we all know how fucking OP that shit can get. You know, it's weird that those shells can still go into those tiny, like, uh, pit sections, despite how big they are. They're too thick. I don't know if I can Fuck. say phrasing to that. <laughs> God damn it, I jumped so horribly at that one. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see, two of those P clouds, two of those, uh... You know, I'm gonna use one of those cloud ones and go to one of those item shops. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Yes, I fucking know that, Toad. I don't need you to tell me for the upteenth time. Jesus. <clears throat> ah. All right. Now, let's... I don't remember what I just grabbed. I was so focused on that goddamn line that I'm just it like... It was a fire flower. Okay, so it was a fire flower. All right. Well, maybe next time I can use it and treat it like the fucking fire rod. Burn. Yeah. Get over here. And boop. Thanks for the lift, fucker. Until there is nothing left. Oh, shit. It's God like, damn it. Oh, it's God like damn Doom, invisible just blocks. Mario, rip and tear until it is done. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's speaking go ahead. Which I am, speaking ahead. of which, I am excited for Doom Eternal. Oh, yeah. New what? Uh, Doom Eternal. It's the it's sequel the to the... To the... Doom that was made in 2016. Doom. Huh. Yeah. I had to catch up on that. <laughs> it looks really good. God damn it. I got too carried away. Ooh. That'll help me. Maybe you should ask them to put you down. Oof. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, scrap I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel for these. Ugh. Sorry. There. That makes things a hell of a lot easier when they're tall. Like, when they're small. <laughs> Never mind, I'm getting my ass kicked one way or another. It's like the, those random blocks that stop you from jumping is like, oh, are you sure you're not playing Mario? There's a goddamn Koopa Troopa right there bouncing and he landed right on top of me when I was aiming for the exit. Note to self, don't let your guard down. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Wow, what a douche. Yeah. Or in this case, don't count the Koopa Troopers between you and... Wait, shit, fuck. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait. Don't count the Koopa Troopers between you and the end before you've seen them all. Or some shit, I don't know. That went nowhere. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, see, that Koopa Trooper was a Secret Service agent and the exit was Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to prevent Mario uh, from reaching, you know, the end goal of building the wall. Jesus <laughs> Trying to prevent the assassination. Damn it, I did it again! Exit. It's like he builds the wall and then Trump's like, congratulations. Now I can keep the rest of the Italians out. <laughs> Trump wants to build a wall to keep the pasta people out. <laughs> build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Mexicans respond with they're going to build a tunnel. <laughs> Uh, imagine having your imagine having okay I say this even though you guys do live in America so it's kind of weird to say this but I'm going to say it anyway imagine having your life dictated to you by an annoying orange by an annoying orange oh God, yes. it's a Donald Trump joke oh because he's orange a particularly annoying orange with a toupee oh I can I can imagine the, the goddamn implications. There you are, you asshole. Fuck. You. Die. There. He was trying to present, prevent the assassination of a John F. exit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. 
It's like you say that, and the first thing I think of is "fuck you, die, repeat." <laughs> what is this, Dark Souls? <laughs> okay, for a tiny bit. Want to say hi? All right. That is 100% right. how the game works. Well, that ended. I'm just gonna go straight to this castle. I'm not gonna even bother with the other stage. Yeah, it's bland and unsatisfying. Yeah. Like my sex life. By the way, you guys don't hear anything from the TV, do you? I do, but it's not irritating, so. Okay. It's nothing Fuck. bad. I'm sorry? It's nothing bad. It's fine. Alright. Ooh. It doesn't take away from the experience. Oh god, I know what this is. This is the part where you die. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Do, 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 do. Um, I think Peter, like Peter, what are you watching? Oh. Something that involves a gratuitous amount of nipples. So it's. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We made an oopsie. <laughs> nah, I'm sleep drunk right now. Wait, what? You're. S uh, Peter is sleep drunk. It's a joke uh -huh. we make whenever somebody's, like, stupid uh -huh. tired. Whenever somebody's tired, they begin to show mannerisms that somebody typically shows when they're drunk. So we associate uh, being tired with being drunk, head sleep drunk. Why it's is there an invisible wall that. when I go to confront whatever the hell these things are? It's so fucking it's weird. Should, it's funny you should say that. That's basically me. Wait, I don't see keyframe anywhere. Somebody's saying hi, key. No, that was Peter. What the fuck? Where the fuck are people getting the impression of keyframe? I think they assume See, that keyframe. That, I think they just assume the keyframe lives with you at all times. <laughs> well, I think they heard like the woman's voice on the TV, and they assumed that it was keyframe. Hey Peter, like, if there's anything you want to say, like, try to like come up close to the mic. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so that we can change him back. Nah, he's like a little fucking Charmander. That's cool. Let's keep him like that. He can go beat the Elite Four or something. See, like... <laughs> there are people responding with Keter in the chat, and I'm just really glad they haven't decided to go the other way, because that would be horrible. <laughs> or should I say Keytato? The Keytato will always live on with them. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? The coins, they're not animated. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling. They're just, that's so fucking weird. They normally would just be spinning. I think the, coin, I think the coins are just like, nah, man. Nah, man. Get, okay. Take my job. I could just imagine somebody drawing a picture of a coin and just says, nah, I'm not going to spin. I'm going to be chilling. Yeah. Chilling like a villain. Don't, don't really feel like it, man. <clears throat> Okay, what did you guys smoke? And where can I fucking get some? Oh, damn it! I jumped uh, way too soon. From Peter, all things that'd, be a pretty, that'd be a pretty funny vector. Another one of Golden Fox dressed up as, like, Mario, and then you just get one of those coins, they're just sitting there, they're looking at him with a raised eyebrow <laughs> going, what? He's like, they're completely motionless. He's looking at him like, really? And it's like, You want what? me to fucking spin or something? T-frame? What? I didn't realize oh, Peter's name was actually Tita because oh, that's come on. All right, let's see what I can find. You know what? I'm going to fucking cheese this stage. Mm, <laughs> yeah. I do like cheese. Nope. <laughs> Everything's good with cheese. That's what it fucking. That's what Filthy Frank would put it. And sadly, he's actually right. Everything's good with cheese. I mean, yeah, no, I've seen those. I've seen the video where he talks about the uh, the the freaking video um, uh, about the tutorials of. Um, 
I'm uh, putting this link in the chat because you will need to see this. Oh god. I'm afraid I've seen what it is. Because I, I saw it in my... <laughs> I love these. I just really love these. <laughs> All right, let's 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 take a minute for chilling. Let's see what we got here. Overwatch. <laughs> Seems like Waluigi's becoming a bigger meme than he should. It's because people want him in Smash and he won't do it. Why won't you put him in Smash? Let me smash. My favorite one. My favorite ones are the Metal Gear Solid 4 one that I made up with Wolfhead, and the Fallout one that I also made up with Wolfhead. The Fallout one is wah wah never changes. Die. <laughs> Good with cheese and, popcorn too. I mean, yeah. Cheese and the popcorn. Metal Gear one is pretty much the opposite. It's like wah has changed. Golden so I just Smash. <laughs> Ready for Super Smash really Brothers. Smash. Also, I actually found this really wholesome comic about, like, it was called The Real Reason Waluigi is God in Smash. damn it! And it's basically about Waluigi watching it's the his. It's yeah. I saw Yeah. That was really nice. Surprising. Where am I? There I am. Act! Oh, fuck! I made so much progress. God damn it! No, no. All right, let's see. Um, you know what? Up. Oh, well, that's not gonna do much. Great. Also, why do people? keep comparing Super Smash Ultimate to Ultimate Custom Night from fucking FNAF. I have no idea. It's like ever since Ultimate Custom Night, every is like every time something's had Ultimate slap next to it, it's like, oh, it's like Ultimate Custom Night. It's like, no, funny thing, it's like Super Smash Brothers. That's why it's called Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Let me smash. <laughs> why Becky. Do this? Becky. <laughs> Becky, how could you? <laughs> Becky, Becky, please. <laughs> I jumped way too soon. I forget that there's an invisible wall, like, almost like a third quarter, like, near the end of the screen. Gary the Bernie says Ultimate Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Ultimate Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Are you guys sure the t Are you guys sure that the TV is not too loud on your end? Uh, no, it's fine. That's no, fine. All right. I have that background noise thing too. Sometimes it's really not that bad. At worst, you'll get someone who's a little bit frustrated because they're really curious about what's actually on the TV. It's... But that's probably the worst you're gonna get. Yeah. Unless you have people in the chat who don't adult very well. Which is highly unlikely because I pretty much know 80% of the people in your chat from your right. server. And the I am going to wait until this is... There we go. Okay. Let me see what's in this block. Perfect. Yes, I could use the big Mario right now. All right, let's jump down here and let's give a minute. Oh, damn it. All right. Let's just crane off of here. Let's look carefully. All right. That looks like it could be a door just right there. Whatever the game's designed as is. Oh, come on! It was off screen! There was an attempt. 
there was an attempt indeed. All right, come on, let's do this. All right, and and let's drop down here. <sighs> Excuse you. That was a hiccup, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, people have mis like people have a lot like. They misinterpret the sounds that come out of my face. <laughs> sometimes, it's like sometimes when I it's like sometimes when I cough, people think I have sneezed for some reason. And I'm just like my cough sounds nothing like a sneeze. Sometimes I sneeze and people think I died. <laughs> oh, they also no. sometimes think I committed murder. Don't know why though. <laughs> it's like you sneeze, but it sounds like a shotgun fire and some light screaming before a muffled keeling over and everybody's just like um what just happened and you're just like i sneezed uh. all right so i gotta wait patiently without taking a fucking hit oh could you imagine living in a world where freaking the sound of sneezing or coughing or any of that random stuff was replaced by unnecessarily loud gun noises. That would be terrifying. Alright. I would find the highest peer in existence and leap off the fucker. Alright, let's see if I can take on this game. asshole now. Clutching a bowling ball. Sneezing as you came down. There we go. And... Booyah! Fuck so, you! Yeah, here, clutching a bowling ball made of lead. Do, 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 do. World War is now finished. Uh, so I'm about halfway in the game. Oh boy. Do you think you might uh, one day play Super Smash Bros. 64 at some point? Ooh. It would be fun to play. Ooh, I got a hiccup coming up. It'd be fun to stream like some Smash Bros. rounds, like just for fun. Like I wouldn't like. I wouldn't say, like, record episodes, because that would have been too much to work with. Unless there's, like, you know, the main campaign that I could just play through. Hmm. That honestly could be just one episode by itself. <laughs> so the Smash campaign is not that very long, unless, uh, unless you play Brawl, in which case it's pretty long and it's fucking excellent. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode, and we'll see if whether or not I'll record the next one. So, I'll catch you guys next time.